With the aid of a medicine ball, I'm gonna talk you through this most elusive of mistresses, connection. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I wanna to talk to you about connection. Connection is a topic that a lot of people refer to, and connection almost uh, gives you a visualization that we don't need timing, we don't need tempo. It's almost like this magical sense of connection will just magically get us there and we'll strike the golf ball and the thing will go magically straight. Let me tell you, that's a pile of poo <laughs> because it doesn't work like that at all. Rhythm, tempo, timing, all has to play a role. And if you haven't seen my tempo and rhythm videos, do go ahead and check those out. With the aid of a medicine ball, hopefully I can give you some insights into how to at least visualize what needs to go on when it comes to connection. A connected strike is when the torso, the lower half, and her arms are moving together. Now with the medicine ball here, it's, uh, three kilos, it's a light one. I've got a bit of a bad back going on. When you start to move this medicine ball, medicine ball around, I'm always trying to get the sense that the ball is staying very much in front of my chest. But not only that, I'm very aware that at the point that I start to throw the medicine ball down at this point here, because of the weight of the medicine ball, it really is going to feel like there's so much energy moving in that direction that the minute I start to get the pressures in my feet moving in the same direction as I throw the med ball, it's really going to give me the sense that I'm going to move in the same direction with it. So my first port of call and my first awareness is when I start moving this medicine ball around is what my feet are going to do to offset that momentum that the top half of my body is going to feel. Now the difference between a medicine ball and a golf club is the weight. Now when the weight of the object increases that we're swinging, we'll really start to sense the pull, the timing, and the tempo at which we need to go at to make this motion have synergy. Synergy between the arms, the feet, the middle, and the object itself. So when we start moving the object away, in, immediately it really feels like to get the object moving to the right, my right foot needs to feel like it helps me away to get some momentum going. And that well might be the case. And depending on how much you push that way in your original golf swing will ultimately define how much hip turn that you create. Because the more a golfer pushes to the right, you can see, if I lift my arms up, can you see how my hips are actually open? Well, if I've pushed to the right and my right leg is absorbing that load and my hips open up to the target, that's not very good for me as a golfer trying to create some good rotation. So therefore, we can really start to sense that to get this heavier ball moving to the right, my left hand becomes the pusher. My left foot becomes the pusher and shifts me off to the right. That's okay as long as the right leg fires up and reacts and the right arm fires up and reacts. Because what that will start to do is, as I push with my left hand and I push with my right, with my left foot, the weight will dump itself into the right foot early on by the time the med ball gets in line with my right leg. And at that point, then my right foot starts to push back. My right foot, my right hand rather, starts to feel like it gets pushed out of the way and starts to gather up the med ball gradually slowing the med ball down, which in turn, because my right foot is starting to push me to the left, this med ball is helping my right shoulder get around. Now here's the caveat. I want you to make sure that the right hand stays in front of the shoulder, that the right hand stays in front of the shoulder, 
the minute that right hand starts to get outside the line of the right shoulder, my right hand is weaker for it. My right shoulder is weaker for it. I would never push something hard with my hand behind my shoulder. I'd have more force on the hand if the hand was in front of my shoulder. And so therefore, when I'm now making this med ball move back, the right foot where it's received the load and I push myself to the left, at that point, the right shoulder can move more and keep the right hand in front of the shoulder. And at that point, now it feels like I've got more opportunity to push the, the med ball on the way down. Now on the way down, because I've now got this stronger push with my right arm, because my hand has stayed in front of my shoulder, the right hand can now start to move the handle forwards. Have you heard that somewhere before? So in my videos, I'm always talking about how the handle must move forwards. Think about the med ball being pulled to the floor. Wouldn't work, would it? I've now got mass and momentum moving down in that direction, which would not pull me around the golf ball. Therefore, when I now start to get this med ball moving, I really start to feel like I can lean on my left foot as I'm moving the med ball forwards to move it out in front of me. So my connection with the med ball and my chest remains the same all the way through the, the motion here. And then we start to come down through, through strike. Now all of a sudden at this point here, the med ball's got some real momentum. I've created some good push on the med ball in transition. The left foot, as I'm pushing on the med ball, has opened me back up and moved the med ball out here. And at that point, now the med ball is reaching the bottom of its arc down at this sector here and starts to pull my hip back because the pressure in my left foot is opposing the momentum of the med ball down here. And so when you then start to look at that as an impact condition, hip back, chest open, med ball at full throw, you can see how the upper body and the oh, out of breath, upper body and the lower body is starting to work together to make me spin around the ball. So this med ball throw is a really great exercise to start to change how we use our feet and move the med ball around. So let me demo that with a golf club. Now you start to understand that the more weight we have in the golf club, the more functional we'll become. The more opportunity that the weight, the energy and the inertia will start to apply on our body. And give us more mobility through the top half because of the mobility through the bottom half. And how the med ball, as I start to move the weight around the golf swing, that down at the bottom here, I really feel like that handle is staying very much in front of me, which is that connection that we all talk about. The connection through strike that really allows us to feel like the chest and the arms are moving together. Again, there is a multitude of assets being worked at here. Moving the weight through my top half, aware of what my feet are doing, that fires up the middle. And the force, the force that the weight of the Swiss ball, sorry, the weight of the med ball is pulling on the handle down through strike, which really gives me that sense of connection through contact. Trying to make the club head feel as heavy as possible through strike. And you can see by that pressure and energy that the med ball pulls away from my chest, that works against the legs pushing up creates that angle of attack that everybody's looking for. So I'm always seeing this golf club as a lighter med ball and how that's gonna enable me to move my upper body to acquire the connection that I always feel I have when I stand there and start to demonstrate the shots that you like to see. I think you'll find that's good coaching. Get yourself a med ball, get connected. Play better. Enjoy.